Hello. Well, today I'm talking about John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum. And I'm not really going to give any spoilers. Um, I know it's been many weeks. Next week will be like a month or so since it's released. But, you know, it's still new. People, there's still people who haven't seen it. So, don't want to really give much away except. You know, we get new with characters and mixed with the old characters. Uh, we've seen the previous two films, except John Leguizamo. He's not in this film, uh, but there's a reason why, you know, um, because he's not needed. Um, essentially, the film takes place like an hour after the end of the second film, and, you know, John Wick is on the run, trying to get rid of, out of New York, out of there, because of all the assassins out, trying to get him, and he is able to make his way to Casablanca, where he meets Ali Berry's character, um, her name is Sophia. She's also a, an ex-assassin, like him, and uh, she has a daughter, which he uh, was able to save. He's able to like save her and uh, put uh, take her daughter somewhere else to live because you know her background of what you know is going on. It's very dangerous, you know connections and whatnot um, so she helps him because of that um, and there's various a lot of action that goes on and um, you know Angelica Houston's in here uh, she sort of helps him uh, get Gets to where he needs to go, and he, you know, jo John Wick, you know, he just, he's really just on the run in this film, just trying to do what he can to end this so he doesn't have to be on the run anymore, um, and by the end you see whether that's successful or not, he has, you know, no enemies, um, Marcus Descascos, I, I don't know who that is, I've never seen anything he's ever been in before, um, but he's been in a lot of kung fu, karate stuff, a martial artist, he was a Japanese assassin, um, Asia Kate Dillon is a uh, A juke detector. A juke detector. Blah! I can't even talk. Uh, she's a character of the high table, which is important, introduced in this film. And, uh, yeah. See Winston again, Ian McShane. And, um. Sharon the concierge. He plays even a bigger role than he did in the first one. Uh, now, I never really mentioned him. I really don't know why, but then again, I guess I'm busy talking about the plot of both of those films, but he's really good. He's really a great character. First film, he's there. He, he's like, you like him, but yeah, he just does his job. Same in the second film. Though in the second film, he takes care of John Wick's dog while he has to go and do uh, what he has to do. Uh, for his marker. And then he also looks after his dog in this film also, because of you know, being on the run. Doesn't want to have to worry about dog getting hurt and killed. Um, uh, but he does have a, a bigger part in this film than the previous two films. Um, I'll just say that. I don't want to 
say what exactly he uh, he does, but you know, I think it's really good that they are able to expand on these characters. You know, John Wick obviously find out more about his past with the characters that are introduced and their connection to him. Michael or Lawrence Fishburne returns as the Bowery King. Um, he's good. Uh, there's a uh, very prominent, important scenes there. And, uh, yeah. Great performances all around. Um, you know, John Wick is really helping sort of do something new with the action genre. It's really uh, giving it a bit of new life. It's not just the typical, you know, bang, bang, uh, uh, people die and stuff blows up, you know. Sometimes some of those films, as entertaining as they may be, some of that stuff is like, well, well logically you're thinking, oh, that didn't need to happen. Where in this, these, these films, you know, it's like, because of what happens and the choices the characters make, uh, you get the sense of, like, there's very limited options that they have. So, you know, every decision they make really does have a lot of stakes to it. Um, so, like, you gotta choose what they're gonna do very well. I know this may not be the best uh, this description of the film because, but, but again, I'm not gonna give any spoilers like the previous two films. Um, I, I really uh, enjoy this series a lot. Um, perhaps I'll talk about it more. Um, but these three films are really entertaining. Um, there's word of more to come. Uh, with this series, like spin-offs and stuff. I'm going to be a TV series called The Concierge. Or, no, Continental Concierge. They can't have Sharon, Sharon or whatever. Again, uh, I can't even talk now. Blah. Uh, I thought about what how I wanted to present this video as, while also not giving spoilers it's still fairly new. Um, if you haven't seen it, I, it's worth it. Uh, uh, the film came out uh, the day after my birthday, so uh, I had a good time watching it. It was like my birthday sort of thing to do. I often go to movies. Yeah. Yeah, the Continental. Uh, you know, Reeves will uh, return as John Wick for that show, as well as um, he'll also produce the show. Uh, if I'm, you know, if I believe, if I'm correct that <clears throat> there's going to be a spin-off of a, involving a young woman who's raised to be an assassin pursuing revenge on the hitman that killed her family. Uh, the film is going to be called Ballerina as of now. Uh, that could be the official title too. But yeah. So this is this franchise is getting bigger. TV shows, spinoffs. So yeah, uh, fans of this series uh, have a lot to you know look forward to. Um, I look forward to this TV show, and uh, with the trailers for uh, this ballerina, looks interesting when they begin to make the film. You know. Um, I'm interested to in see where they take this series. Um, the films and TV 
genre uh... and while one could say oh it could be like a milking thing um you know, there's a lot, there's this series, there's a lot more than just what we see. You know, there's a lot of characters we meet. So, like, just once, you know, and they're still alive, they haven't been killed yet. It was interesting, there's like some backstory there that we don't know. Um, we just know John Wick has history with them. So, I don't know, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, regarding this series, this franchise. Um, so, yeah, that's really it. This is very short. Apologies again for perhaps a very vague way I was talking about this, but, yeah, I just don't want to give too much away. You know, I don't want to give spoilers for a film that... <clears throat> You can still see on the big screen, so still fairly new. Not even a month old at the time of recording this, as well as the it being uploaded. You know, it's still fairly new. Not a month old yet. So, with that, I will say, uh, I hope you all have a good day, a good weekend. Have a good week, and I will see you all next time.